Darcy Lynn Farmer is a talented American ventriloquist and singer. She is known for helping to bring ventriloquism back into the spotlight, and many people appreciate her skills. Darcy grew up in Oklahoma, where she discovered her passion for singing when she was just a little girl. However, she was naturally shy, which made it tough for her to perform in front of audiences. It all changed for her when she saw other ventriloquists, like Terry Fader. They inspired her to give it a try. In 2014, she decided to enter a local talent show with her very first puppet. After that experience, Darcy worked hard to get better. She received training and encouragement from other performers, which helped her win more competitions over the next two years. Her big break came in 2016 when she appeared on the TV show Little Big Shots, and she became a household name after winning the 12th season of America's Got Talent the following year. Since then, she has appeared on many other television shows and has toured with her puppets. One of her most famous characters is Petunia Rabbit. However, Darcy's journey has not been without its challenges. She has faced a personal battle with cancer, which has tested her strength and resilience. Join us as we explore the inspiring story of how a talented girl faced cancer and transformed her life into one of success. It's a journey filled with challenges and triumphs, showing just how strong and determined she is. Through her struggles, she discovered her passion and talent, proving that even in tough times, dreams can come true. Get ready to learn more about her incredible path from battling illness to achieving greatness. Early Life Darcy Lynn Farmer was born on October 12, 2004, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. She grew up in a loving family with her parents, Clark and Misty Farmer, and she has three brothers named Nate, Dalton, and Nick. From a young age, Darcy had a passion for singing, but she often felt nervous when it came to performing in front of others. To help her overcome this shyness, her parents encouraged her to participate in the 2014 International Cinderella Scholarship Program. During this event, she not only participated, but also won the title of International Mini Miss. It was at this program that she met Larissa Bonacisti, a young ventriloquist who held the international teen title. Larissa's amazing ventriloquism skills inspired Darcy to give it a try herself. With just a month of practice and some helpful advice from Larissa, Darcy decided to enter Edmund's Got Talent in 2014. To her delight, she won first place. After that, she caught the attention of Gary Owen, a ventriloquism coach who was so impressed by her talent that he offered to train her and help manage her career. This was a turning point for Darcy, as she began working closely with Gary Owen and also received vocal training from a coach named Tiana Plemons. The following year, Darcy's hard work paid off when she took home first place at both Oklahoma Kids and in the junior division of Oklahoma's Got Talent. She also won several prestigious awards, including Broadway, Specialty Acts, and Entertainer of the Year at American Kids in Branson, Missouri. Before transitioning to homeschooling in the eighth grade, Darcy attended Deer Creek Middle School, which was close to her home in Edmond, Oklahoma. Interestingly, she even missed her first day of seventh grade because she was busy performing live on America's Got Talent, Cancer. Darcy Lynn Farmer has faced some very significant personal challenges during her journey, especially her battle with cancer. In 2022, she shared with everyone that she had been diagnosed with a rare type of bone cancer called Ewing's sarcoma. This news was a big shock particularly because Darcy was just starting to embrace her rising career in the entertainment world after gaining fame on America's Got Talent. After her diagnosis, Darcy began an intense treatment plan that included chemotherapy and surgery. Throughout her fight against the illness, she showed incredible resilience and an unwavering spirit, even when dealing with the emotional and physical challenges that came with it. Darcy was open about her experiences, using her platform to raise awareness about childhood cancer and inspire others who might be facing similar struggles. In interviews, she spoke honestly about the difficulties of going through treatment, like the side effects of chemotherapy, which often left her feeling weak and tired. However, she always highlighted the importance of keeping a positive attitude and focusing on her love for performing. This passion provided her with a sense of normalcy and purpose during such tough times. The support from her family, friends, and fans was crucial in her recovery. Darcy often expressed her gratitude for all the love and encouragement she received, which helped her through the ups and downs of her treatment journey. This strong support system not only lifted her spirits, but also motivated her to keep pursuing her artistic dreams, including her music career. As of now, Darcy Lynn is in remission and has returned to the stage, using her music as a way to celebrate life and connect with her audience on a deeper level. 
Her experiences have influenced her artistry, and she often weaves themes of resilience and hope into her work, encouraging others to believe in the power of perseverance, even in the face of adversity. Let's take a look at what Darcy has accomplished so far after winning this battle with cancer. Ventriloquist Journey In March 2016, Darcy Lynn appeared on Little Big Shots, where she performed the song I Want to Be a Cowboy's Sweetheart with her puppet Katie, who portrays a cowgirl. Later that year, in July 2016, Darcy made history by becoming the first child ventriloquist to perform during an evening show at the Vent Haven Convention, which had been taking place for 40 years. She had the honor of opening the event for well-known ventriloquists Kevin Johnson and Todd Oliver. In March 2017, Darcy returned to the spotlight on the British version of Little Big Shots, performing the same song with Katie once again. Darcy's real breakthrough came when she competed in season 12 of America's Got Talent in 2017. In her very first audition, which aired on May 30th, Darcy and her puppet Petunia performed Summertime from Porgy and Bess. Judge Mel B was so impressed with her performance that she pressed the golden buzzer, which sent Darcy directly to the quarterfinals, skipping the judge cuts altogether. The video of her audition quickly went viral, becoming the most watched clip in the history of the show within just 30 hours. It later ranked fourth on YouTube's list of the top 10 trending videos of 2017. For her first live show after receiving the golden buzzer, Darcy performed Who's Lovin' You with her mouse puppet, Oscar. In the semifinals, she sang You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman with her puppet, Edna Doorknocker. For her final performance, Darcy brought out both Petunia and Oscar and sang, with a little help from my friends. Judge Simon Cowell confidently predicted, I think you're going to win. In the finale, Darcy performed a duet of Anything You Can Do with Terry Fator, the winner from season two. When she was announced as the winner, NBC revealed that Darcy had received the most votes of any finale performance in the show's history. After her big win, Darcy made several high-profile appearances, in September 2017, she was a guest on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and participated in Jeff Dunham's video The Haunted House on Dunham Hill, where she went trick-or-treating with her puppets Petunia, Oscar, and Edna. In November 2017, she made a special appearance at Terry Fator's show at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa. She also performed with Pentatonix in a very Pentatonix Christmas special, where she and Petunia performed a fun Easter parody song called O oh Easter Egg based on O Christmas Tree. Following this, Darcy announced a national tour called Darcy Lynn and Friends Live. It originally included five dates in January and February 2018, but later expanded to a total of 52 shows running through January 2019, which included nine holiday-themed performances titled Rocking Around the Christmas Tree with Darcy Lynn and Friends in November and December. In December 2017, Darcy participated in a charity event called One Night with the Stars at Madison Square Garden. That same month, she also had a homecoming show called I Heart Media and KJ 103 present Darcy Lynn, which sold out in just six minutes. Due to the high demand, additional shows were added for that day and the next. To cap off the year, Darcy performed at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas on New Year's Eve, sharing the stage with Fergie for a special celebration. In January 2018, Darcy Lynn made a special appearance on the Today Show with her puppet Oscar, where they performed the song Who's Lovin' You. A couple of months later, in March, she had the exciting opportunity to perform at the Grand Ole Opry for the very first time. She also made a brief cameo at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards during that month. In April 2018, Darcy returned to Little Big Shots, where she and Oscar performed Shout by the Isley Brothers. The following month, she was a guest on the talk show Pickler and Ben, in July, Darcy attended the 2018 Starkey Hearing Foundation Gala, and in August, she was back on America's Got Talent as a guest performer, singing Show Off from the Drowsy Chaperone with her puppet Petunia. That September, she made a guest appearance on Kids Baking Championship. By November, she performed Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with Petunia on the show Steve. And later in the month, she sang Jingle Bell Rock with Petunia during NBC's Christmas in Rockefeller Center broadcast. In December 2018, Darcy performed again at the Grand Ole Opry and was a guest once more on Pickler and Ben. She also lent her voice to an episode of Fancy Nancy, where she played the character Daisy. That same month, Darcy starred in and hosted her holiday special called Darcy Lynn, My Hometown Christmas, which aired on NBC. 
This special featured her ventriloquial performances with her four main puppets, Petunia, Oscar, Edna, and Katie, along with some non-ventriloquial singing. Darcy had the chance to perform duets with artists like Lindsey Sterling, Toby Keith, Kristen Chenoweth, and Pentatonix, with Hunter Hayes also making a guest appearance. The special included a fun sketch with the America's Got Talent judges, Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel, Heidi Klum, and Mel B., and it was announced by Lonnie Chavez. In January 2019, Darcy was a guest on the Food Network show Winner Cake All. She also returned to America's Got Talent as a contestant on America's Got Talent The Champions, where she performed a medley of Nutbush City Limits and Proud Mary with Oscar during the preliminaries. Although she made it to the top three, she didn't get enough votes to move forward. However, she was brought back as a wild card act for the finals, where she performed O Mio Babino Caro with Petunia. During the results show, Darcy teamed up with Bill Beretta to perform Can't Smile Without You. She sang as Edna, while Bill performed as Ralph the Dog from The Muppets. In the end, Darcy finished as the runner-up, just behind the season 13 winner, magician Shin Lim. In October 2018, Darcy announced her second tour, which kicked off in February 2019, called Darcy Lynn and Friends, fresh out of the box. In March 2019, she was a guest at two stops on the Barbie Be Anything tour, and in April, she appeared at a WE Day event in Washington. In September 2019, Darcy returned to America's Got Talent once again as a guest performer, alongside season 12 finalist Preacher Lawson, where she performed It's a Man's 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 World with Petunia. In November 2019, she made a guest appearance on the sketch comedy show All That, along with her puppet Petunia, and also participated in another WE Day event, this time in Vancouver. By February 2020, Darcy appeared on The Kelly Clarkson Show, performing Something's Got a Hold on Me with Oscar. She made a second appearance on the show in April. In July 2020, Darcy became a panelist on Nickelodeon's show Unfiltered, which was hosted by Jay Farrow. She later returned to all that as a musical guest, where she performed Something's Got a Hold on Me again with Oscar. In August 2020, Darcy Lynn made another guest appearance on America's Got Talent, where she introduced a brand new character, a one-eyed Australian monster puppet named Ivan. This edition showcased her creativity and ability to continue evolving her act. The following year, in April 2021, she appeared in an episode of the show Side Hustle, playing a character called the Wombat in the episode titled Make a Mutt. This marked her foray into acting, further broadening her range of talents. In June of that same year, she made her way back to the Ellen DeGeneres show, reconnecting with audiences through her vibrant performances. In July 2021, Darcy began a new tour called My Lips Are Sealed, except when they're not, which ran until November 2022, allowing her to connect with fans across the country and showcase her unique blend of ventriloquism and singing. By August 2021, Darcy returned to America's Got Talent for the fourth time as a guest performer, where she sang Let the Good Times Roll by Louis Jordan with her puppet Oscar. This continued her streak of memorable performances on the show. In April 2022, she ventured into acting once more with a role in the movie A Cowgirl Song, alongside notable actors such as Cheryl Ladd, Savannah Lee May, and Jason Allen Smith, marking her debut in a feature film. In July 2022, America's Got Talent judge Simon Cowell highlighted his top 15 favorite golden buzzer moments from the show's history, and Darcy's performance ranked second on his list, underscoring the impact she had on the show's legacy. The following month, she teamed up with Terry Fator to perform on the season 17 finale of America's Got Talent, singing Over the Rainbow, along with object ventriloquist Celia Munoz. In 2024, Darcy was confirmed to be part of America's Got Talent Fantasy League. During her qualifying round with Heidi Klum as her mentor, she ventured into new territory by playing the guitar while her puppet Petunia moved around independently. Although she received some mixed feedback from judges Mel B and Simon Cowell, she managed to secure enough votes to advance to the semifinals. During the semifinals, Darcy took an even bigger step out of her comfort zone by performing solo, earning praise from Simon for her effort. However, despite her strong performances, she did not place in the top three acts during the semifinals and was ultimately eliminated. Darcy Lynn's success on America's Got Talent has been widely recognized for revitalizing interest in ventriloquism. Bill King of Buddy TV commented on her final performance, 
highlighting its smoothness and the difficulty of her craft. Terry Fator, a renowned ventriloquist, told USA Today that Darcy, even at just 12 years old, was one of the most incredible and flawless ventriloquists he had ever seen, predicting her continued growth in the art. In another interview with Billboard, he went even further, calling her one of the most talented people on the planet. Sammy King, another respected figure in the ventriloquism world, shared with the Fountain Hills Times that Darcy was not only a gifted ventriloquist but also an excellent singer with remarkable comedic timing. On his blog, Jay Johnson praised her as an exceptionally talented young performer with nearly perfect ventriloquism technique, adding that her singing abilities could stand alone without the puppets. He believed her dedication and youthful energy would inspire future generations of ventriloquists. In August of 2020, Darcy Lynn's hometown honored her achievements with a special exhibit called Darcy Lynn's Got Talent at the Edmund Historical Society and Museum. This exhibit featured items from her time on television, including costumes, her first practice puppets, tour posters, and scripts, offering fans a closer look at her inspiring journey in the entertainment world. AGT Aftermath Darcy's performance in AGT brought many great things to her life. Experiencing her work on the big screen in the 2023 presidential biopic Reagan was particularly thrilling for her. As the winner of the 2017 season of America's Got Talent, Darcy Lynn has grown accustomed to watching her performances on television. Still, the leap to seeing her work projected in a movie theater brought an extra layer of excitement. In an interview with The Oklahoman, she described the experience as surreal, noting, even though I've got a minor part in it, it's still like, whoa, there's me on the big silver screen. It's weird, but it's awesome. Clearly expressing her delight at the transition from television to film, Reagan, which opened in theaters nationwide, is a biographical drama that chronicles the life of the 40th president of the United States, Ronald Reagan. The film traces his journey from his early years in Dixon, Illinois, through his Hollywood acting career, and eventually to his presidency during the Cold War era. The movie features big names, including two-time Golden Globe nominee Dennis Quaid, who plays Reagan as an adult, Oscar winner John Voight, and Golden Globe nominee Penelope Ann Miller. Darcy Lynn, primarily known for her ventriloquist acts and singing, plays a minor but memorable role in the film. In her scene, she acts alongside David Henry, who portrays the young Reagan. This role allowed Darcy Lynn to be part of a humorous moment in Reagan's life. As a teenager, Reagan worked as a lifeguard in Illinois and was credited with saving the lives of many swimmers. However, there is a legend that several of those rescues may have been staged by teenage girls who wanted to be saved by the future president because they found him attractive. In the film, Darcy Lynn plays one of those girls who pretends to need rescuing. Recalling her time on set, she shared, I got saved about six times that day, but it was so much fun. This lighthearted role allowed her to showcase her acting skills outside of her usual ventriloquism performances while adding a fun and playful dynamic to the movie. The filming of Reagan primarily took place in Guthrie, Oklahoma, with additional scenes shot during the summer of 2021, including the lifeguard sequences featuring Darcy Lynn. Although her role was small, she cherished the opportunity to act opposite Henry, who is best known for his role on Disney Channel's Wizards of Waverly Place. She expressed her excitement, saying, I grew up watching Wizards of Waverly Place, so when I found out that he was playing a young Ronald Reagan, I was not upset about it. She added with a smile, I've told my friends too, and they're all jealous. He's also just down to earth and a very kind guy. So he made my job easy, that's for sure. Darcy Lynn has been making waves in both the entertainment and film industries, and her appearance in Reagan marks a significant milestone in her blossoming acting career. This film is only her second, following her role in the inspirational musical drama, A Cowgirl's Song. She's already making a name for herself in the movie world. Directed by Sean McNamara, Reagan also has a personal connection to Darcy Lynn, celebrating Oklahoma's emerging role in the film industry. During the red carpet premiere of the movie in Edmond, Oklahoma, she walked alongside big-name actors like Dennis Quaid, as well as Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt and director Sean McNamara. Reflecting on the event, she said, It's a blast. It always feels surreal. I don't think I'll ever get used to this kind of thing. Although Darcy Lynn attended earlier premieres of Reagan in Nashville and Los Angeles, she was pleasantly surprised by the large crowd that showed up for the Oklahoma premiere. The excitement surrounding the state's growing film industry was palpable. She remarked, I think it's just the excitement around the film industry growing here, so I'm honestly surprised, but also not surprised. It's starting up here, and I love it, expressing her enthusiasm for Oklahoma's expanding presence in Hollywood.
Beyond her ventures into acting, Darcy Lynn continues to excel in her music and ventriloquism career. She recently released a new single, a soulful pop song titled Someone Wake Me Up, which showcases yet another side of her immense talent. Additionally, she is already in the process of writing a new touring show that she plans to take on the road in 2025. While music remains her primary focus, she is open to future film opportunities, stating, Wherever God takes me next with music, I think is my route. But if it happens to be in the film, who knows? I'll take it, she said with a smile. Despite her growing fame, she remains humble and focused on enjoying each new opportunity as it arises. For Darcy Lynn, participating in Reagan and being part of Oklahoma's film boom is just another exciting chapter in her already impressive career. With her combination of talent, charisma, and a down-to-earth attitude, there is no doubt she will continue to captivate audiences through her ventriloquism, music, or acting. As she looks forward to whatever the future may bring, she remains a proud representative of Oklahoma's thriving entertainment scene. Now approaching 20, Darcy Lynn has grown significantly since her America's Got Talent win, evolving not just as a performer, but as a person with diverse interests and passions. Recently, she performed at Nashville's iconic Grand Ole Opry and released her new single, Someone Wake Me Up, a track she co-wrote with the Imaginaries duo Shane Henry and Maggie McClure. She even took on a small role in the biopic Reagan. For someone who once spent 30 hours a week training for a gymnastics career, life has shifted in a big way. Darcy acknowledges that adjusting to being recognized in public has been challenging. Getting recognized in public is something I'll never get used to, she shares. It's so socially anxious sometimes, but I also love talking to people, so it's this weird balance of thinking, wait, this is so cool. Darcy is all grown up and making waves with her music. Now exploring new avenues in her career, her latest single, Someone Wake Me Up, illustrates just how much she has evolved. In an exclusive premiere of the lyric video, she opens up about her experiences with dating, love, and growing up. In a conversation with People, Darcy shared some insight into the inspiration behind her new song, saying, I'm 20 years old, so I've had my fair share of dates and boys. She hints at the frustration many people experience in the modern dating scene, adding, It's safe to say I've almost lost hope for something real, but this song is hopeful. I hope people listen and believe in true love like I still do. This message is relatable for anyone who has experienced the ups and downs in the search for genuine connection. And Darcy's candid approach to songwriting resonates with listeners of all ages. Someone Wake Me Up marks Darcy Lynn's second original single, co-written with Shane Henry and Maggie McClure with whom she previously collaborated on her debut track, Push Our Luck, released in February. While her first single leaned toward a country vibe, her latest work takes a pop direction, showcasing her willingness to experiment with different sounds as she continues to discover her musical identity. She explained, I've been diving into my sound and someone wake me up, specifically leans more pop than the country vibe of Push Our Luck. I'm still experimenting when it comes to what I write and I'm excited to bring people with me as I do. The Oklahoma native has been sharing snippets of her musical journey with her 1.2 million Instagram followers, teasing the track and connecting with fans. In a playful video earlier this month, Darcy sat down at the piano to deliver a stripped down version of the song, humorously captioning the post. Do I need to sing it a little louder for the ones in the back? Darcy first started writing music during the COVID-19 lockdowns, a time when many artists found space to reflect and explore new creative outlets. It quickly became something she was passionate about, providing an additional way for her to express herself beyond her ventriloquism acts. It's something I'm super passionate about, she shared in an interview earlier this year, though many still remember her as the 12-year-old who wowed the judges and audience alike on America's Got Talent. Darcy is embracing the transition from child star to young adult artist. She returned to the show in 2023 to compete in America's Got Talent Fantasy League, reminding fans of her talent while also showcasing how much she has grown. It's crazy for a lot of people, she said, reflecting on her journey. They all have that 12-year-old in mind whenever my name comes up, and so now it's like, oh my gosh, she's growing up. With her new single and exploration of different musical styles, it's clear Darcy Lynn is fully embracing this next chapter of her career. From her early days of ventriloquism to writing and performing heartfelt songs, she is proving that her talent knows no bounds. Fans can expect much more from her as she continues to grow and find her voice, both on and off the stage. 
Despite the changes in her career, Darcy continues to showcase the talent that brought her to the national stage at 12. She still brings her signature ventriloquist performances to audiences, though the pressure feels different now. The nerves are still there, but you just want to almost be perfect. And you kind of only get one chance to do that, so it's high stakes. Darcy credits her Oklahoma-based coach, Gary, for helping her refine the unique skill of ventriloquism. It's not just about projecting a voice. It's about bringing her puppets to life, making it seem like she's having a real conversation with them. Her puppet family, which includes Petunia, Oscar, Edna, and Katie, recently welcomed a new member named Ivan. It takes a lot of dedication because it's an art form, she says, but Darcy took her talent even further by adding singing to the mix, resonating with fans of all ages, including those from older generations. I'm a huge Eagles fan and Hotel California is a classic, she says, referencing one of her favorite songs to perform. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Darcy discovered a new passion, creating music as herself without her puppets. I fell in love with it, she reveals. So that's a pathway I wanted to take. While ventriloquism remains a central part of her career, Darcy's newfound love for songwriting has her pursuing a musical journey on her own. Her single, Someone Wake Me Up, reflects that shift, and she's eager to see where this passion will lead. I'm excited to see how far I can take it, she says. The discipline she learned from her gymnastics training continues to play a role in her music career. Back in her gymnastics days, Darcy trained intensely for 30 to 33 hours a week, mastering the floor and balance beam, though she admits the vault and bars weren't her favorites. It was almost like a full-time job, she recalls. One particularly painful memory involves a fall during training on a beam she dubbed the scratchy beam. No one wanted to use it, she says. I was doing a back handspring layout and my foot missed. I slid down the beam and had this massive scratch and huge bruise all up my leg. It was not fun. While the entertainment industry presents various challenges, it demands a similar level of commitment and dedication. Darcy Lynn makes it a priority to find time for fitness, often working out with her mom. They enjoy activities like interval running on the treadmill, and she's also trying to learn more about weightlifting. Although she admits to being new to it, she has the advantage of having a knowledgeable big brother to turn to for advice. Bike riding is another favorite activity for Darcy, allowing her to stay active while having fun. Fitness is a family affair for her, influenced by her dad, who has completed multiple marathons, including the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. Darcy aspires to join him in that pursuit someday. I think he's always dreamed of one of his kids running a marathon with him, she shares. So that's gonna be me. He's got a training regimen he's used forever, so I'm just gonna follow whatever he does. Even though fitness isn't a strict requirement for her career, Darcy believes that staying physically active helps her maintain balance and perform at her best both mentally and physically. It keeps me healthy and happy, she notes. Looking ahead, Darcy's schedule is jam-packed, and she acknowledges the road can be tough. She plans to improve her cooking skills to keep up with the demands of touring. With a bright future on the horizon, she remains optimistic and energized. I've got some things in the works that are still under wraps, but one thing I can tell you is music and touring. So stay tuned, because that's what's next. Her new single, which dropped on August 23rd, marks just the beginning of her journey. As Darcy Lynn continues to grow both personally and professionally, she shows no signs of slowing down. Whether through her ventriloquism, her new music, or future endeavors yet to be revealed, she is paving a path that's uniquely her own. Impact. Darcy Lynn has built a remarkable legacy that goes beyond her initial fame as a child star on America's Got Talent. Her journey is characterized not only by her achievements, but also by the struggles she has faced the resilience she has shown, and the profound impact she has made on her fans and the entertainment industry. From an early age, Darcy demonstrated extraordinary talent, winning the hearts of millions with her ventriloquism and singing abilities. However, the path to success has been filled with challenges. As a child performer, she dealt with immense pressures stemming from fame and public scrutiny. The transition from a shy, reserved girl to a confident performer on national television involved grappling with the anxieties that accompany such visibility. Despite these challenges, Darcy has exhibited remarkable strength in navigating the complexities of adolescence while under the spotlight. Her venture into songwriting during the COVID-19 pandemic marked a significant turning point in her artistic expression. It was in this period of isolation and uncertainty that she discovered a newfound passion for creating music that truly reflects her identity. Her songs explore themes of hope and the quest for genuine love, capturing the essence of her experiences as a young adult. 
This evolution in her artistry demonstrates her determination to move beyond the confines of her early image and establish herself as a versatile musician in her own right. Darcy Lynn's influence goes far beyond her performances. She has become a role model for young people facing their challenges. By openly sharing her struggles and triumphs, she inspires others to embrace their uniqueness and pursue their passions despite the obstacles they encounter. Her authenticity and commitment to her craft illustrate that success is not solely defined by public accolades, but is also rooted in personal growth and resilience.